Welcome back to Sunless Sea. It is finally time to deliver the Judgment's Egg and the Seal of the Red Science to the Iron Republic. I'm really excited to see where that quest goes. I feel like this might be the end. I've been following it for so long. So yeah, there's nothing more to do in London here, except I do need to buy a little bit more supplies. Yeah, I think 10 should probably be fine. Plenty of fuel. Let's go. Hopefully we can get into some combat with some crabs. Oh, once again I'm going into the dead end. Whoops. Yeah, hopefully I can get into some combat with some crabs or really light pirate ships just to reduce my terror. Not that it's particularly high, but it's always good to have it near zero. Guess I might as well take a stop at... Oh, there's something under the water. Is that a jelly floor? Oh no, it's a megalops. It's a crab, come back here. You crafty bugger. Oh, it's gonna charge. I think we're good. No, son of a... I hate you. Yeah, ever since my damn gun got nerfed, I just can't kill them in one hit. Take a little stop here, get a port report. Explore the shore again. Maybe find another feral aunt, aka crazy monster. Or visit the hilltop. Let's explore the shore. A glittering eye. You turn, and there's a long, lank brown man at your shoulder. Listen, he says. I have a story for you. Listen, leave, or turn the situation around. <laughs> no, I have stories for you. Ooh. I'm curious what this would do. Use up one of my Tales of Terror and one of my Z stories. Let's do it. Fresh from the sea. He has experienced horror and wonder. But so have you. And your tale is so much the fresher. You wrestle with each other's histories, until at last he concedes. Here, he says, this is where it all began. With the astronomer and the ephemerides, he whispers in your ear. Hmm. Lost a little bit of terror, but it looks like for the most part I just gained fragments. Well, my hole is already damaged, so what the heck. Alright, it's gonna charge, so what I have to do is speed up and try to just completely avoid it. Because it's definitely gonna charge. And... I'm good.
teleport report to get another move in the great game, I believe. Yep. Almost there. I'm excited what's gonna happen. Next time I come here with my Corvette, I should be able to take out the, that rowboat pretty easily. It's got 210 hit points. Seems doable. Here we go. Been waiting for this for a long time. Oh, we could do a bunch of stuff here. Look at this. Fund a tittering... Art... How do you pronounce that? Artif... Artificer? Can fund this project with ivory and devil bone dice. And a secret. Well, anyway. This is what we came here. Seek a tittering artificer's help to awaken the seal. I know people here, the cannoneer confides, from the old days. Hmm. Perhaps we shouldn't talk about the old days. Alright. Let's do it. I'm not gonna scroll down all the way. I don't wanna I don't wanna be. I don't wanna be uh spoiled. An awakening. The cannoneer and the artificer place the judgment's egg on the seal and apply their instruments. The light in the artificer's chamber grows dim. This, then, is what it sounds like when a soul screams. When they're done, the egg lies in shards, and the seal looks little different, but there's a watchfulness about it. The artificer shakes the cannoneer's hand. I've missed working with you, she says. I've missed it so much. The cannoneer grins that grin. Nearly done. We can mount it on the bridge if you like, but we'll need a housing if we want to use it further. It'll have to be heart metal. I knew a man, long ago, but I hear he went to Station 3. Swam there, the story says. If you can get us the run of Station 3, I can get you in to see him. No, I don't know where Station 3 is. It's a secret. Oh, <laughs> I know where it is. I now have a searing enigma. I now have a Awakened Seal of the Red Science. Okay, we're still not at the end. This is such a long quest, it's amazing. Alright, Station 3. Well, while we're here... Port report. I gained a heart. Cool. That's a weird thing to gain when you're just compiling a port report, but I'll take it. Parliament of Flies. Ooh, this is new. Market of Hungers. The Calvary Doctrine. On days such as this, the market is filled with crucified dragons and laws in waiting. They whistle a welcome. Well, cheap fuel. Hmm. These bales of parabola linen. I think... I think that's actually cheaper. The price of buying those, I think, is actually cheaper than the price of selling them at London. I think at London you can get 60 for them. Of course, a profit margin of 3 is ridiculously small. So I'm not even going to bother. 
get some super cheap fuel though, I suppose. Alright, let's do this thing. Gained a little bit more terror, but now a new shop is open. The House of Milks. Coffee and fuel drip from dragon teats. Mmm, delicious. Sack of dark drop coffee beans. Don't need them, but it's good to know they're here. I'm assuming that's a pretty damn good price. Okay, so I can actually equip this to my bridge. It gives me mirrors plus three and iron plus three. Nice. Do a little bit more damage. Yep, takes my damage from 15 to 21 up to 16 and 22. Okay. Let's go ahead and head up to Station 3, I suppose. Let's see, which route should I take? I guess just straight back the way I came. Not the most exciting route, but I really want to see the end of this quest. I've never done a quest that's so freaking long. I'm trying to think if I want to stop. Nah. I'm going to save this just in case it doesn't regenerate before I get back to London. Because I actually want to use it in London to read the paper. And the reason for that is because my terror is... It's gone up a bit. And I want to reduce it by speaking to the people here. It'll reduce my terror by five. And then I want to get some more recent news so that I can use it at the Hunter's Keep when I go to head north. There's two of them. This should be fun. Oh, there's three of them? Where did the, the other one come from? Whew. Okay, well there's no point in butchering it because my hunger is zero, so let's just dissect it, I suppose. Aw, I failed. That's a friendly ship, right? Yeah, it is. What the- why do those boats keep teleporting onto land? They've consistently done that, like, almost every time I've seen them. That is so weird. Gained a fragment, cool. Well, oh, teleported again. Awesome. It's coming!
Okay, well, I don't need to worry about my terror anymore. I just reduced it by a crap ton. I also want to check the prices for Dark Drop coffee beans here. Because I could have bought them for, what was it, 37 At the Iron Republic. Morning paper. Ooh, gain supplies, nice. Let's go ahead and buy a couple more. I think I have some linen that I forgot to sell. Where is it? Oh yeah, I have a bolt of spider silk. Let's go ahead and sell that. Okay, so coffee beans sell here for 44. And I think they were, yeah, I think they were 37. Which is, eh, I mean, it's not a bad profit margin, but I feel like to really get a significant amount of money out of that, you'd probably need a merchant cruiser. Something with a hold capacity of more like 120 instead of 40. 70, 100. Wow, that merchant cruiser is, uh, it actually has the biggest hold out of everything. I guess it really is the only one that is specifically intended for shipping. Eh, I don't want it. I mean, shipping sounds kind of cool, but it just doesn't sound like fun. Alright, I think, I think that's it. Oh, port reports. And move in the great game. Okay, now we're good. Okay, so let's take a stop at Hunter's Keep to reduce my terror further with my recent news. And then make my way up to Station 3. Should be a quick trip. Hopefully there's some more pirate ships around here, or maybe clouds of bats. Because Lucy gained supplies, lost 10 terror. Oh man, every time I do that, I gain three memories of distant shores. That's really good. My terror is down to 10. It, is, it has not been that low for a very long time. That's wonderful. Let's uh, visit Shepherd's Island Abbey Rock while we're making our way to Station 3. Get a couple port reports.
Hmm. I can have a picnic at the Standing Stones. Seems a little bit more adventurous than these other options. Let's do it. A peaceful afternoon. Your sailors watch the fireflies shimmer. Swap shanties. Pass around the grog and chai stones at a more... Uh, at the more vampirically inclined Z-Bats. Grasses nod in the breeze. Across the dark water, the lights of Abbey Rock glow watchfully. Go ahead and get a port report. I have to remember to bring some recent news to this place at some point. Put some um, knock at the gates, even though I don't have any. Don't think anything will happen. Here it is. Is this it? The end of the quest? Meeting the Heart Metal Smith. I don't know where he is. Can we ask directions? A clay man directs you, with a minimum of enthusiasm and even fewer words. Easy to overlook. The smithy is a long, low building that you missed on your first survey of the island. The smith is a quiet man with a pinched face, who works entirely in hard metal. The cannoneer greets him with a yell of delight. The smith winces, puts down his hammer, pinches the bridge of his nose. It's you, he says. Two of you. Okay, <laughs> I guess he doesn't like us. Perhaps he doesn't like anybody. Well, this looks cool, holy crap. Oh, I can't have him constructed because I need three Devil Bone dice. You, why? You, <clears throat> I hate you. The rooms run back into the rock of the island, chamber after chamber of long-barreled machinery. Ask the smith to construct an assembly housing for the cannoneer's weapon. Why is the smith so willing to help? Just how many outstanding favors are owed? The cannoneer shrugs the question off, smiling. I made a lot of bombs back in the day. A lot of bombs. For a lot of people. Who don't like me to talk about it. I think that's why the university threw me out. I never dared go back and ask, though. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to be heading to, uh, Palmerston... Palmerston what? What's the name of the place? Palmerston something? The place with the deviless? Just uh, ask him about life on the island. A disinclination to talk. That doesn't surprise me. He tells you that folks here keep to themselves. He says he doesn't go up to the buildings with the steeple, and the acolytes hardly ever come down here. It sounds like a solitary sort of life. He claims he prefers it that way. When he turns back to his work, you see the chain of hard metal links he wears around his neck, and the closed locket that hangs from it. I bet there's a long story around that. That hard metal link necklace in the locket.
Did I get a port report? I guess I did. Okay, up to Mount Palmerston, which thankfully is just right there. So, no biggie. In fact, it's quite a smallie. Three. Let's get some more fuel. Nice and cheap. Let's get a port report. Explore the explore the island. Uh, no, bad stuff tends to happen when I do that, involving pirates and losing half of my sailors. Nor do I want to go up to the crater to meet the Deviless, because I don't want to give up my soul, nor do I have a soul of human... Uh, a crate of human souls. I was gonna say a soul of human crates, but I don't even know what the hell that means. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Alright, he's gonna construct an assembly housing for the cannoneer's weapon. Look at everything that's led up to this. Need the irrepressible cannoneer, the awakened seal, devil bone dice, a searing enigma. Thankfully I didn't use that up because I didn't know I needed it. God, I even need a lamentable relic. But it really reinforces my thought that I shouldn't sell that stuff because just random stuff needs it all the time. Alright. Here we go. A shining horror. For seven days, the smith works. Only the cannoneer is permitted within. Your sailors place bets on whether they'll blow themselves up, and whether the explosion will eradicate Station 3 as well. There are no explosions. At last, the cannoneer opens the smithy door, grinning, a tired but dazzling grin. He gestures to the seal. The armature that constrains it is now meshed with silvery heart metal. The glyphs flicker frantically, like trapped insects. The weapon emits a constant low, barely audible growl. The air in the room is stiflingly hot. Behold, the cannoneer says, the memento mori. The grin dissipates. It's finished. I'm not sure what to do now. Mount the Memento Mori on your ship or sell it to one of the warlike Z nations. Some will give you better prices than others. You may tilt the balance of power on the Z. Wait, you're telling me this weapon is so powerful it could actually tip the balance of power on the Z? 
<laughs> if it's that damn powerful, I'm not selling it. I'm gonna use it for myself. I now have... Memento More. Just please, for the love of God, tell me it can mount in the slot that I actually have. I'm gonna be so sad if I can't, but it's, you know what? Even if it can't, it's just gonna make me want that new ship even more. Okay, let's see. It is a forward weapon! Oh, it's a forward weapon! <laughs> it's okay though, that means I am so fucking pumped to get that new ship, because as soon as I do, I have this. Let's see what it does. Let's pour over every stat. Iron plus six, mirrors plus three. Okay, that's already beautiful. Hold damage 22, life damage 32. That's... That's basically double the damage that this weapon does. That is incredibly good. And the life damage is basically three times. Um, oh my god, the crew damage is four. Normal crew damage for a weapon is between one and, and maybe two. The crew damage for me is one. And by the way, if you're not quite sure what that means, I believe... Um, at, at least how it works with me... Yeah, so it says right here. Run crew, one crew lost each hit if opponent is below 50% hull. So with a crew damage of 4, that means if they're below 50% hull, I'm going to kill 4 of their crew with every shot. Warm up time 4 seconds, that's standard. Stagger amount 2 seconds. Okay, my current weapon doesn't even have a stagger. So this thing has awesome stats. Iron plus 6, mirrors plus 3. It's basically double as good in terms of damage than my current weapon. Uh, the crew damage is four times my current weapon. And it staggers, whereas my current one does not. This thing is amazing. This thing is freaking amazing. Oh god, I can't wait to get that new ship. I am so pumped to get that ship. Well, if I can get another Awakened Seal of the Red Science, I can have him make another one. Let's, uh, prod around the smith some more. Build up a repertoire. Metaphor? Or very strange truth? Swam, he says. He stares you in the eye. It's so impossible, it's laughable. But he doesn't seem to be joking. He picks up his hammer. The interview is over for now. He actually swam here? I could believe that. God, can you imagine swimming in the Z? With sharks and megalops and jelly floors everywhere? Jesus Christ. I feel like you'd last all of two seconds before something just dragged you down to the watery abyss. Aww. Since I, uh, interviewed him, I lost the ability to do, um, any favors for the Acolyte. Oh, well. Okay, well. At this point, my, my own personal main goal at the moment is just to make money so that I can buy that ship and mount that weapon. And that is going to massively increase... My ability to safely travel and kill enemies. How to go about making money? I'm really not entirely sure. I could go back to London, but I don't really have a particularly good reason to do that. Okay, well I am looking for strange catch and hunting trophies to fulfill that trade request. I suppose if I want money I should probably do that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm honestly just not sure. I could pursue that. What else could I do? Nothing that I can think of. That's my... That's the only, like, reliable method of earning money that I can think of. Other than that, it's kind of just, like, aimlessly run around and hope I can... find some things that make me money. So doing trade requests is really the only reliable thing I can do. So I probably should do it, I suppose. 
Okay. Well, I think I'm going to decide where I want to go for that in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.